Good evening. Welcome to Moni's Table. I'm your girl Moni. Before we get into this video, you already know what to do. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell that's beside the subscribe button so that you can receive instant notifications of when I upload a new video because a lot goes down at the table so you don't want to miss it. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day. First of all, I'd like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, hopefully you like your stay here. If this is your first video that you will experience at Moni's Table, I want to first introduce myself. On February the 5th, I had VSG surgery, which is vertical sleeve gastrectomy. When I started my VSG journey leading up to the surgery, I was 352 pounds. And that was, wasn't my highest weight. My highest was 369 pounds. On the day of surgery, I went from 352 to 318 on the day of surgery. And during my last weigh-in, I was 211 pounds, which I weighed in on November 1st. I have not played, messed with that scale, okay? This is Detox December for me. It's sleeve must, and this is day 8, okay? So in this video, I have noticed that many people who are on weight loss journeys and who have lost a significant amount of weight, even those who may not have lost weight, but they have let others know that they're on a journey, whether you let them know via social media or just people that are in your own private circle, like your family or whatever. I have noticed that a lot of things has been said, even to me, okay? I have been a victim of this and others have been a victim. A lot of things have been said that should not have been said to people who are on a weight loss journey okay like y'all just need to stop just need to stop if you can't just say congratulations or you look good I'm glad you're better on yourself like just stop talking to people okay zip it lock it throw away the key <laughs> so in this video I'm gonna say a few things that you should not say to a person who is either on a weight loss journey who has a lost a, a, a large amount of weight or who is attempting to start a weight loss journey don't say these things to them this journey is a mental okay we are already going through stuff mentally so we definitely don't need to add to the mental stress that this journey already entails we don't need you to add to that number one and I have heard this throughout my whole entire journey okay I've heard this and it's irritating. It, it vexes my spirit. Number one is Girl, don't lose too much weight. Now, I know there's some malicious intent involved when that when that comment is stated, okay? But let me tell you something. Who is it that determines what's too much weight for me, my body? For, for me who determines that I, I think I should determine what is too much weight and what is not enough weight okay like I think for my body that I live in that God bless me with, I should be the one to determine that not you okay not you because your definition of too much weight is not my definition of too much weight and then you can have someone else who thinks too much weight is, is this amount okay like so just let me determine for my own self my own body what's enough weight for me to lose okay thank you these that i'm stating are ones that i've heard and also ones that i've seen some of my fellow brothers and sisters who had who are on a weight loss journey i've i've seen them these things be said to them as well in different comments and everything okay men like some meat on their bones okay who says that I'm trying to lose weight for a man. I never had a problem getting a man. I still don't. Even though I'm smaller. I still don't have a problem getting a man. I'm single because I choose to be. Okay? Because these men don't come right. Okay? They don't come correctly. That's why I'm single. Okay? <sighs> anyway, next. Number three is don't start looking sick. Don't start looking sick. <sighs> 
And I'm like, you should have told me that when I was 369 pounds. Is don't get sick, okay? Don't gain anymore, okay? Like, don't gain too much weight, okay? Not don't start looking sick. I was sick at that size. And that's why I'm going through what I'm going through now where my health is concerned. And I'm fighting this battle where my health is concerned. Like, just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Leave it alone. If I want to look sick, it's my body to look sick, okay? And who are you to determine what, how the sick look, okay? A lot of people walk around here sick and they look perfectly healthy. It don't matter what size they are, okay? Like, who are you to determine what looks sick and what doesn't? Like, leave people alone. So, another thing that I have heard is, oh, you were beautiful before. And I've actually heard this on social media. I'll post my before and afters just to show people if I can do it, so can you. And really it's to motivate me because I said this all the time and I know many people go through the same thing. Uh, many of my VSG sisters go through the same thing of body dysmorphia where because you've been overweight for so long, it's hard to see your smaller self no matter how long you stand there and stare in the mirror, okay? I literally stand. Stand and just look at myself in the mirror and turn to the side and turn this way and point out all my flaws, all the places I still want to change, okay? So a lot of times when I post before and after pics, it's not stating that, oh, I'm more beautiful after I lost weight. That's not what it does. My before and afters first, it encourages me and it shows me that, okay, even though you look in this mirror and you may still see 369 pounds, you're not that. You're not her anymore. You're not that size anymore, okay? Just because I post these pictures are not, it's not saying that I wasn't beautiful before. Your girl has always been beautiful, okay? Always. <laughs> and that is not me being cocky or like conceited or any of that i've always been beautiful and i know this about myself okay that's not why i'm posting it it's just sad that because of and i blame society and i blame the media it's sad that we connect weight and beauty and we somehow they they are attached and there's no way you can be 369 pounds 400 pounds 500 pounds 600 pounds and still be beautiful like how when did that when did that when did that become a partnership when did beauty and weight become a partnership it's because of social media and it's because of society okay you can't be beautiful just because you are overweight like what i don't understand okay so just because i post before after pics don't mean i thought i was ugly before i i always know i was a flat chick always This is another one that I have seen that my other weight loss brothers and sisters have went through, okay? It hasn't been said to me, but it has been said to some of them, and it's, you look better when you were bigger. Jesus. <laughs> How dare you say that to somebody that's trying to better their health? If that was your, if that's your preference, them being bigger is your preference. Okay, we all have different preferences. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I like tall men. Okay, so we all have different preferences, but don't say that to uh, to a person. Okay, who is trying to better their health? Who is trying to get rid of their high blood pressure? Get rid of their diabetes? who is trying to, to get their heart healthy, who is trying to get rid of high cholesterol that can take them out of here. Don't say that to people who is trying to live longer, okay? No matter how good a person carries the weight, and I carry my weight really good, but people didn't even realize that I weigh as much as I did, okay? They, didn't, they don't realize it until I post these before and after pictures, and these are people that were around me but don't say that to someone who's trying to get healthy so that they can live longer, okay? Like, that is the most mentally exhausting and mentally stressful thing that you can say to a person who's already mental, mentally stressed 
and exhausted okay just leave people alone okay now this is something else that i've heard mind you like i know some of these things that were said to me was not malicious and people really thought they were words of encouragement and a compliment um but it really wasn't so what i've heard was everyone is not meant to be thin And I'm like, if that was the case, then I should have been born big. I should have been born overweight. You know what I'm saying? I think I was a normal size baby. I'm going to call my mom and see. Let me ask her what did I weigh when I was a baby, if she remembers. Because that was a long time ago, okay? <laughs> No, I'm not outside. I got a question, real quick. Yeah. How much, um, if, if you remember, how much did I weigh when I was the baby, when I was born? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm gonna have to think on it. I think it was six. It was six pounds. I think it was six pounds, but I can always tell the answer. I really do. What'd you say? You think it was six nine, six six pounds nine ounces? Mm -hmm. So I was. I was like a smaller baby, huh? Or no, I guess regular size, as they say. Okay. I'm asking for my video. Oh, okay. Your voice is on, on my video right now. So say hey to the people. Hello. <laughs> okay, mommy. You said what? I told him this is your number one thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, love you. Love you, love you too. See you later. Serious about that number one fan, too. So, yeah, I was six pounds and nine ounces, she thinks. She said I was a smaller, normal size baby. So, yeah. Yeah, there's no such thing as everyone is not meant to be thin. Because unless I was born this way, I was meant to be healthy okay I was meant to be a healthy normal weight where I don't have to deal with high blood pressure and pre-diabetes and, and all of this extra stuff that comes with obesity okay and I haven't heard but I have I know some people that have went through it and this has been said to them okay and this is one of the worst things, too, that you can say to a person who has battled obesity, who has battled being overweight, who has battled their weight causing different illnesses, okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, do not tell a person who's on a weight loss journey that you think that they should gain some weight back who cares what you think who cares about your opinion who cares if you think they should gain some of that unhealthy weight back that had them in positions where they had to take blood pressure medication every day or they had to take insulin shots every day like what gives you that right to tell somebody that you think they should gain some weight back like what in the world I don't understand what goes through people's minds. I, I've never been the type to be concerned about what people do with their own body. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you're a family and you're doing something that I feel is harmful to your body, then yeah, I might say, you know, you, I don't think that's healthy for you. But when it comes to weight loss or someone deciding that they're going to lose weight or not, I've never been the type to comment, it's your body. Do what you want to do. But don't, like, just be quiet. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Like, keep your comments to yourself. If you think somebody looks better, bigger, you think somebody should gain some weight back, you think somebody shouldn't lose anymore, keep it to yourself because what you think does not make or break that person. What you think does not bring good health to that person. So, it's it's not for you to, to put your opinions, okay? Your biased opinions on them. Your biased views 
on them. Let people live and let people do what they want to do what's, and let them do what's best for them. <sighs> Alright y'all. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for listening to me rant. Okay, I have came across a lot of comments in the in my recent days, and it has vexed my spirit. Okay, because I know how it feels when those comments are made, and they don't do good to a person. They are mentally harmful to someone on a weight loss journey. So keep the, your opinions to yourself. All right. So until we meet again, may God be with you. May he really be with you, okay? And may heaven smile upon you. Be blessed. Bye.